We've all been or visited an ice rink at one time or the other, but the question is, do you know how the ice rink is kept frozen? It all happens in the plant room behind me here at the Energy Centre. Let's take a look inside and find out how the whole thing works. So this is the ice rink's electricity trip switchboard, a bit like what you'd have on at home, but on a slightly larger scale and with some pretty lights. Green telling you it's good, red telling you it's tripped out. So when the trip switch of something trips at home, it's just one small switch. It's a very similar scale here on the ice rink, except there are distribution pads for all the different zones in the rinks, and it's slightly bigger switches. Now for the game announcers, DJ and music playing at the ice rink, it takes a fair amount of power to fill a building of this size, and these are all the power amps that provide the sound to the speakers. So of course, with it being an ice rink, in some areas of the building, you want a little bit of heating, and this is the unit that controls that. So a building of this size is going to get through a fair amount of hot water. The big tank on my right services the Zamboni because it uses hot water. The tank behind me is for general use, like the kitchen facilities, and the tank to my left is the hot water for all the showers in the building. This is a dehumidifier, technically a massive tumble dryer, dragging all the damp air in out of the ice rink, drying it out and then pumping it back out to keep the building nice and dry so you can see through the glass and things don't steam up. The ice pad has pipes running underneath it. This is the plant that keeps those pipes at sub-zero temperatures. So this shows you the supply temperature of the glycol as it runs to the pipes that go under the ice rink. These are the glycol pumps that take the chilled glycol from outside and pump it round the building down under the ice to keep the pad frozen. So the minus 9 degree glycol is pumped via the plant room down into the 8 inch pipes below our feet. From there it's split into 1 inch pipes that run the length of the ice rink. These keep the ice frozen at about minus 7 degrees and there's 40 millimetres of ice on top of the concrete which we skate on. All you have to do then is keep it resurfaced.